Hello and good evening. Welcome to Story Nights, an evening talk show wherein we get different stars from different walks of life to share with us their hardships and how they overcame it in order to become the stars of their careers. Tonight, our guests would be the different stars of mathematics hailing from the Dagupan City National High School. As we all know, mathematics is not an easy subject. And I speak for students like me when I say that many of us struggle at understanding it. I know, I know, we got the same here. Tonight, we have invited three math enthusiasts to inspire us, share with us their stories, their secrets, and discuss how math made such an impact on your lives. Our first guest is a top student from the grade 12 STEM class, our very own Kuya, Mr. Oliver Tumang. Hi guys, I'm Oliver Tumang from grade 12 STEM Altruisty. When I was in elementary, mathematics is fun and interesting for me. Not until I stepped in junior high school. It is hard for me to understand some of the rules and concepts of some lessons. I started to fear the subject. Then I realized my dream. I always want to be an engineer since day one. My mathematics teachers inspired me and taught me that mathematics is understandable. I tried to overcome this and eventually my interest in mathematics came back by asking how to solve and trying to solve those problems. The amazing thing about mathematics is it is applicable in our daily lives. Not only the variables, numbers, etc. but also the life lessons behind those topics. You will not learn if you let your fear interfere. Do not let you, your fear to stop your growth. Keep in mind that mathematics is fun to explore. You will feel true happiness when you solve the problem you were afraid of. Just like what they say, you only fail when you stop trying. So there guys, I hope that I'm able to share my realizations to you. Good luck to your journey. Wow. Such inspiring words of wisdom from Mr. Tumang. I really like the quote. Right, Raymark? Yes, I agree with that, Mista. Really, we will not learn if we let our fear interfere. I agree. We should never let our fear interfere with our growth as a person. And as an intellectual, we should not let our fear of mathematics be bigger than our dreams. Our next guest is the pride of DCNHS Junior High School when it comes to math content. From grade 9 Becquerel, Ms. Charlene Cruz. Hi, my name is Charlene T. Cruz. I am from 9 Becquerel and I am a math enthusiast. So, nag-start akong magustuhan ng mathematics even before nung bata pa lang ako. Pero, not until 2015 ako nag-start na makikompete. Nung time na yun, akala ko parang alam ko na, gamay ko ng mathematics. Pero habang tumatagal, marami akong namimit na iba't ibang tao. Doon ko na-realize na yung nalalaman ko pala is basic pa lang yun. Parang kumbaga sa mga level na, sa level 1 pa lang ako. So, as years pass by, habang nag-training kami, Siyempre, frustration kasi may mga ibang problems na hindi mo talaga alam kung paano isolve. Mas lalo na very complicated siya kasi international level yung inaaral namin. Pero, enjoyable naman siya. Kasi iba yung fulfillment pag nasagot mo yung tanong na binibigay ng teacher. It's just that for me, I found my passion and fun in mathematics. And I hope you do too. Malay nyo, di ba? Magustuhan nyo rin siya. Thank you. Again, wow. That is a very romantic story of finding your passion and fun in mathematics. Hope all. 
<laughs> wise words, wise words indeed. Of course, it is the golden rule of the universe that when something is meant for you, it will be given to you. And in Charlene, she was meant to find her passion in math. So she did. So she has indeed. Our next guest is from the land of ABM, a consistent honor to that throughout his student life, Mr. Ray Vidal. Hello everyone, my name is Ray. Starting preschool, I wasn't seen as a child lost potential in academics. It wasn't until second grade that I joined my first contest. Actually, I wasn't the original contestant. It just so happened that my classmate got sick and couldn't make the contest. So that day of the competition, I was pulled out of my class without any preparations. I was very nervous. I didn't know what to expect or do at all. My teachers called my parents in and we went to the contest proper. Surprisingly, I placed second in my batch. My teachers were shocked as I am. I remember that I didn't even solve half of the problems. I just answered the letter I felt. In the end, they saw the potential in me and I became a representative of our school in every math contest later on. I didn't expect that I could be good at math. I never really had a favorite subject. Up until junior high school, I can't say that math really is my favorite subject. It just so happened that I excel in it. Nevertheless, for me, there is this fulfillment in solving every problem and getting the correct answer. I consider myself a very logical person. Whenever I get the right answer from using a formula, I am joyed. I think the thing that really drives me to take math as seriously is its importance in our lives. I never look down on math because I know that we encounter it every day. I mean, without math, the world we know today wouldn't be the same. So, if you could let yourself see how valuable math really is, then you won't take it for granted. Lastly, I think that people tend to overlook math because of its complexity and maybe the overwhelming numbers. But the truth is, it can be very simple. All you have to do is take things seriously. When making a mistake, don't give up, retrace your steps, and then start again. That's what I do. And I think you should too. Did you take down notes, Nisa? Of course. Without math, the world that we know today wouldn't be the same. As Ray has emphasized, math can be very simple. All we have to do is to take it seriously. When making a mistake, don't give up. Retrace your steps and do not be afraid to start again. Wow, Nisa, I have learned so much from them. The next time I do math, I would not look it at the same way before. I hope our viewers learned a thing or two from tonight's episode. What a brilliant batch of guests they were. They are proof that even though it is hard, math can be enjoyable and fulfilling to do. Tonight is filled with these bright stars to show it off and just shine through these interviews. Just like them, maybe you can find your passion, fulfillment, and joy in mathematics. All you have to do is to be brave enough to face your fears, have the courage to start again whenever you create mistakes, and have faith that math is meant for you. Thank you, everybody, and have a good night. Bye. Bye.